Hey guys, it's Nephis here, and today I am going to be showing you my group healer build for Veteran Cloudrest. And this build can be used for uh, plus zero, plus one, plus two, Hard Moon, Griffin Heart, and I did get Griffin Heart with this build and setup. Um, I've been meaning to make this video for quite a while now because there doesn't seem to be much of it on YouTube. There's plenty of group healer uh, point of views during the fight. There's plenty of um, group and Kai Healer point of views for the veteran Cloud, Cloud Rest Hardman fight. Um, and I know there isn't much that is explained, and I know there's still a lot of people that are confused about what to run under group healer, uh, what skills to run, and what the CP should be. So, this video is going to be answering all of that. I'm going to be going over race, Mundustone, skill, CP, and the gear setup, and why we're doing such a specific setup in terms of gear. And I hope you guys will enjoy this video. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the race and the month of stone. Uh, you can be a Breton, you can be a high elf, uh, and the month of stone can be the Atronach. However, I prefer a high elf because we'll get into this later in terms of the skill setups. Your attribute points can be 64 in the Magicka, or if you want to play really safe, you can put like 5 to 10 points of health and the rest into Magicka. And you can be a vampire, uh, just don't be more than a stage 2 or stage 3 vampire. And the food you can be running is Witchmire's Potent Brew or Clockwork Citrus Filet. I would recommend Clockwork Citrus Filet if you want to get the most out of your health and so on. In terms of the gear setups, uh, we're going to be having two Bogdan, which are two light pieces. And we're going to have two Evan pieces on the body. And we're going to have three piece IA on body as well. The traits are all divines and the large pieces are infused. Now, the jewelry will be Evan as well. And we've transmitted the jewelry to uh, Arcane. The original trait for Evan jewelry found in Crypto Hearts 1 and 2 is healthy. And we don't want to do healthy on jewelry for a healer. Because your healing and so on is scales off of your uh, spell crit, spell damage, and max magicka. And here on the uh, back bar, or I like to refer to this front bar sometimes for healers, I don't know why, uh, we have the five piece lightning IA um, with the three piece on body and the two piece on the staff. And we're going to have the master's resto on the front bar. Now I'm going to be going into why we are running this setup. So first things first, the Bogdan, pretty self-explanatory, it's one of the strongest heal over times in the game. And it's very, very good for this trial because there's a lot of healing you need to do. A lot of people underestimate, actually, how much healing you need to do for Veteran Cloud Rest Hard Mode in particular because there's a lot of incoming damage to the group. And the fact that you also have to heal through a health check or the Baneful Mark and, and so on, uh, Bogdan is very crucial. I would not recommend Earth Gore because that only heals one person as of now. Um, even before they nerfed it, I would still not recommend Earthcore. Bogdan is just way too good for this trial. And the Evan, the five piece Evan on jewelry and body, um, you obviously don't want to run five piece heavy because that would, that would like go against having five piece light and you want all the passes from five piece light. And you also want uh, some piece, well, you, you really don't need five piece heavy. I don't know why some people run it, but don't do that. You, you want to transmit the jewelry to Arcane and have run two pieces heavy on the body. And this goes into why we can't run 5 one, one 5 light, 1 medium, 1 heavy. Because, well, we have two heavy pieces already. There's no room for another, just a medium piece. Because we need the 5 pieces light to gain passive to all these passes over here. Uh, in light armor, we have grace, we have evocation, spell warding, prodigy, concentration. This will help us with... Uh, sprint cost reduction, match recovery, rec match cost reduction, and even spell resistance, which is pretty much going to be mitigating all the damage in uh, Cloud Rest. There's no real physical base damage except the heavy attacks from the mini bosses like Sororia, Reliquin, and Gallimway. And uh, the IA, okay, so a lot of people on North America, especially, seem to prefer running Ola Rime with Evan rather than IA with Evan. So, to explain it, um, a lot of groups on both EU and NA uh, actually ran or runs uh, EBA and IA on the group healer. The reason being is, the reason why people ha 
you know started to run uh, older Remy with Eben is because uh, it, it all started with I, I believe the raid guild uh, mechanically challenged them. See, uh, their healers ran IA on the kite healer and worm on the kite healer, and the group healer had older Rime and Eben. Now. I'm gonna assume that was because of preference, but I strongly disagree with setting up IA on the kite healer for most people because IA will only serve to you know drag you down um, or slow you down uh, or p potentially make you cause mistakes uh, when you're kiting with crushing darkness and you have ice on you. And I honestly just think that's just complicating things. And just to show you guys an example, like. I had a prior Griffin Heart progression group, and the healer, the Kai healer, was running uh, IA, and I just, you know, suggested, hey, why don't you just run um, Olorime and Worm? It's pretty easy. I mean, as a Kai healer, Sork or Warden, you can put down Olorime pretty easily for the group, no matter how far away you are, kiting, crushing darkness or ice. You don't need to worry about IA uptime when you're kiting, honestly, on anything. And that, that's pretty much it. All you have to do is focus on yourself, not nothing, nothing, nothing else. Pretty much, he, he heals and yourself. That's making it very easy. And after that, um, they were like, "Oh, wow, that, that this is really easy compared to running IA and Kai healer." So this is for uh, sake of convenience as well. Add to the fact that, like, it just uh, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me that you would run IA and Kai healer. So that's why we're running IA and the group healer. It's really easy to keep up IA. On Zamaja and the minis and creepers as a group healer, it's not hard. Um, there's no risk to it, so that's why I'm running Evan with IA, not the whole Arime. It's just easier for everybody. And in terms of the traits here, um, I did go three infused. It's up to you if you want to run three prismatic enchants, but I honestly don't see the need for it for my, for, for myself at least. And uh, for the lightning staff, the trait will be infused. However, I would not run a shock enchant, I would run a increased weapon and spell damage enchant to increase the healing done. And we have the Master's Resto, and this is a, also a matter of debate, but I honestly prefer it. I actually think it's uh, useful at times because of the stam return, this very small stam return has helped some people manage to escape death from uh, getting vined by the creepers. And the enchantment here is Absorb Magicka. For your sustain and the power trait, um, this is also a matter of debate if you want to run precise or powered. I found better results with powered uh, over precise and better in cloud rest hardman. So it is up to you guys. So that's the gear, and that's why we run the gear. And those are the traits, and those are the enchants, magic rico, and the jewelry. Now we're going to be going over the skills. Now on your back bar, we have luminous shards. This is going to be great for tanks, obviously. Uh, we have channeled focus. This is your source of sustain, a major ward, a major resolve. I would strongly suggest you know keeping this up as much as you can, and it's pretty convenient to keep this up, especially on this fight because Maja stays very stationary and after she ports. So you have a, yeah actually get a lot of a uh, good time investment from using the skill power of the light, and this is why I'm a high elf. This is why I would prefer to be a high elf as a group healer as a Templar group healer in Veteran Cloudrest. Now, in the High Elf passives, we have something called Spell Recharge. And this was updated in Update 21, I believe, for the, all the races. Um, for the High Elves, especially when you're using an ability with a channel or casting, you take 5% less damage, whatever. Um, let's see. But when you activate a class ability, you restore 640 magic or stamina based on whichever is lowest. A lot of people gave Zoss a lot of flake for this, but honestly, I think this was a great uh, change, in my opinion, because as a healer, as a high elf healer, your lowest stat is max stamina, as you can see here, guys. And we'll always get stamina back every time you use a class ability. It can be shards, it can be chat and focus, it can be power light, whatever, you get the idea. And this occurs every six seconds, and this helps us keep Apollo more reliably we don't have to really worry about running out of stam for the most part. And this is a great source of minor fracture, and minor breach. And on here, the next one, um, Harness Magicka. This is needed uh, for certain instances where the orbs will have 
inflicted malicious strikes on you. So a lot of people also misunderstand the damage output from the orbs that spawn, the orbs that people need to kill. So there are two components to the orbs. The first component is when they explode, they still hit people with malicious strikes. That's direct damage. You can shield that. A lot of people also misunderstand the dot component, the second component, as being oblivion damage. It is not oblivion damage. The only sources of oblivion damage in veteran cloud rest um, is the full, uh, the flare from sorority's mechanic and carrying the orbs downstairs in the shallow realm. That's it. Everything else is shieldable. Everything else is easily healable. And we have cleansing ritual. And this is the morph is gonna really it's it's personal preference. I've done both in here. Um, if you do ritual retribution, you'll probably ask, hey, uh, that's kind of a short duration. But you have to understand that's. 12 to 15 seconds is how long the Maja usually stays in one spot anyway. Um, so, but if you don't want to like, if you don't care about uh, re refreshing or whatever, you can go extend the ritual. This will more than enough cover uh, the group's entire stay at a Maja location. So it really, this is a personal preference. Um, it's really up to you. And the ultimate here will be aggressive horn. And this is very important, obviously, because it gives the group major force and max magic and max stamina to yourself and other people and this is a pretty important skill to have because you need to burn minis or you need to burn the boss the faster this fight is the easier it is and on the front bar for the rest of the staff we have healing springs um a lot of people ask me should i go illustrious healing or healing springs and honestly it really doesn't matter i prefer healing springs so i can just keep uh, my sustain up there's in my opinion for cloud rest i don't think illustrious heals really makes a huge difference in my opinion and especially next patch when they're um nerfing the healing output plus however many you can keep down i would still stick with healing springs and bone surge this is mostly in use for situations where you think uh people might die so let's say there are orbs dying there's a sword warrior flare and then there's other incoming damage, like meteors or something, or some random stuff during the fight. This is when you use Bone Surge, so someone in the stack can synergize it. And this is also very useful for Execute, for the Baneful Mark. You only want to uh, activate this for the Baneful Mark. You don't want to spam the skill. A lot of healers make the mistake of spamming the skill. They tend to forget they only have a very limited uh, stamina pool, and this fucks them over when, you know, uh, the creepers find them and they can't move, they can't dodge, or they can't sprint. So this is only really mostly useful for uh, execute. And th the reason being is because we get major vitality. And that major vitality, the inc uh, increase the healing you see by 30% is huge. And also it's a shield and shields other incoming damage like the uh, orbs, malicious strikes and so on and the, and the dark drain. And here, so pre Elsewhere patch, um, everybody was a magic knight blade in here. And we're gonna, <laughs> and the reason why we're running combat for is because um, the Nightblade's source of minor berserk was taken away from their Grim Resolve. Plus, no other class has it except maybe the Warden, but that has to be barred on one bar. So right now, as of the Elsewhere patch, it's mostly Magplars, Magsorgs, and some Magblades. Um, and this is this is gonna be you providing minor re berserk to the group. Uh, minor resolve and minor ward. It's really up to you as a group if you guys want to run slime crawl or not because there's sometimes it's going to be a little inconsistent if the healers keep getting um, the lightning bar swap mechanic. But the only difference between this bar and uh, pre elsewhere bars was I just put like inner light on this uh, on this slot and that's about it. For the most part, it was a dead slot anyway, so combat prayer it is. Uh, we have Breath of Life. This is going to be an emergency heal for anyone outside of the stack or during Meteor phase for, for the Ice Comets from Gallimley or for the tanks in, in situations where sometimes they can't heal themselves. And we have Energy Orb. And for the ultimate over here, we have Barrier. So Barrier is pretty strong because it gives us Magic gain, gives us 10% more Magic recovery on the rest of staff bar. And also, in terms of the morphs, um, some people also ask me, which morph should I take for barrier? 
and you probably want replenishing barrier because the reviving barrier the heal over time the total healing done is really insignificant i mean it looks cool but i mean it looks cool on tooltip like look at this the words also heal you and your allies for 23,478, but then you read on and it's over 30 seconds. That's literally nothing. The healing is so insignificant. You might as well just go for the replenishing barrier to give you ultimate magicka back. So that's why we're going to go with replenishing barrier. And now after doing all this, we're going to look at our stats. And here, it's pretty insane actually. We have 30, almost 35,000 max magicka almost 19,000 health, and again, you can switch this up, um, five, 5 to 10 points at most in health, if you want to play really safe, we have almost 10,000 stamina, we have uh, like 2300 magicka recovery, and if we're going to actually use a potion here, that goes up to almost 2700 magicka recovery, and we get more spell damage and so on, so that's pretty cool. And for the healer, group healer CP, I mean, this is also going to be applicable to the kite healer CP. They're going to have the exact same CP, whether you are going to be kite healer or group healer in veteran cloud rest. You're going to have 64 into elemental defender, and we're going to have 66 thick skin. This will help mitigate the basic damage in veteran cloud rest, including militia, uh, including militia strikes, uh, the dark drain, and anything else pretty much. And then we're going to have about 66 into Ironclad. And this will also help us mitigate the direct damage incoming from Creepers, plus the Orbs, plus the Flare, and so on. And in terms of the Spell Shield, we're actually going to be looking at that later. The Quick Recovery, you can do 19. And the 5% healing received is enough as a healer, especially in Veteran Cloud Rest. And everything else you can put into Spell Shield does not mitigate all the magicka based damage incoming towards you. And this is going to go for both the Kite and the Group Healer. Now, for the Green CP, it's going to be pretty straightforward as well here. You're going to have 64 into Arcanist. We're going to have 51 Shadow Ward. This will help you block a few things, um, like the Ice Comments and so on. And it's going to help you sustain your stamina. And we're going to have 33 Sprinter. Because again, we're not working with a huge stamina pool as a healer. And with a 56 Warlord, there are times when you may uh, need to break free, such as the unblockable Cascades from Reliquin and so on. So this is more of a safety measure than anything else. And we don't really need Tenacity, honestly. Um, you're running to absorb magic in your rest of the staff bar. You don't really need it. Your magic recovery is through the roof as well, so you don't really need to heavy attack most of the time. Um, and then that, that's pretty much it. I think we're going to put 56 in tumbling here as well. And this is going to help you dodge the vines from the creepers and such. And that, that's, that's pretty much it. The rest of the 10 points you can honestly put anywhere uh, you want. Uh, there's no point in putting any more into Arcanist. There's no, I mean, it's literally whatever. And for the blue tree, yes. for the blue tree, it's honestly this doesn't matter for the most part either. Uh, it really depends. I honestly think 100 blessed is uh, insignificant. I would probably put 75 at most, but it's up to you guys. Uh, the reason being is because one percent more healing done is no huge deal. Um, and honestly, at that point, you might as well put more towards into spell like crit heals rather than just base heal. And that's why I was talking about the precise versus powered in here, but I honestly think powered is a better uh, modifier to have as a healer on your wrestle stat bar than precise for veteran cloud rest, especially the especially the execute. But um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. You don't really need anything. The ritual um, you can put like uh, sixteen in the staff expert. Why not? There isn't much. There's much else. It's just like literally you can put hundred blessed on hundred elf horn. Um, and that's it. Uh, it's up to you for your for your blue tree, but the red and green tree that's pretty much standard, I would say. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, that that is pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, you learned a lot from this healer, uh, this group healer, Templar group healer build and setup. Um, just to just to summarize, two piece Bogdan because white it's a lot of healing. Fi uh, five piece Evan on jewelry and body because the tanks will be wearing Torgs and Alkosh and such, and also uh, it's that's pretty much it, honestly. I forgot to mention that earlier. 
I am gonna have five piece IA on the on the Destro bar, Destro bar with weapon damage enchant, Master Resto on the rest uh, Resto staff bar and with power and absorb magicka. And we're gonna have this skill bar set up here. You don't really need anything else. And that's it. And as always guys, stay safe, have fun, and see you next time.